today, we are building an affordable automatic supplement and pill dispenser that you can easily 3D print at home. One press button starts the timer, and the tablets fall every day, automatically into the tablet compartment. I looked it up and was shocked at how expensive they can be. But then, I thought why not build one myself just as good. The assembly is super easy and simple, so that you can recreate in a relaxed manner, without any stress. You need the main body, the tablet compartment with the whole gearbox as print in place. One lid for top, one lid for the technical compartment, a small holder for the push button, and small tags with weekdays or numbers. Optional, you can print letters to personalize your machine. I have the body printed with the standard stings of Bambula. With an infill of 15%, place the supports manually, as shown in the instructions, to save material. In Bamboo Studio, select Supports and set it to Manual. For then you can use the small icon above to select the areas that must be supported. The instructions for the complete files and settings is linked down below. Here is an overview of the parts you need. Insert the stepper motor into the main body one and secure it with the two small screws. Connect the cable of the motor with the stepper module. Assemble the push button and test it. Removes the plastic at the end of the two jumper cables to expose the metal contact. Connect these jumper cables to two diagonally opposite pins. You can also simply solder the cables. Now places the button in the provided hole one and secure it with the button holder. Test whether the button can always click freely, then secure it with hot glue. Connect the two cables from the button to your Arduino, one at ground and the other at pin D2. Now connect the other jumper cables. Make sure the pins are connected. Pin 1 to pin 11, pin 2 to pin 10, pin 3 to pin 9, and pin 4 to pin 8. Now connect the last two jumper cables to supply power from the stepper module to the Arduino. Secure all connections with a bit of hot glue. If you're unsure whether you wired it correctly, test the Arduino first before gluing everything. Finally, Connect the USB-C cable to your Arduino. And closes the technical compartment with the lid. And a small M3 screw. Stick small silicone feet to the bottom of the machine, so it doesn't slip easily and has a better grip. Test whether the gearbox in the pill compartment rotates smoothly. Then glue the labels into the slots on the sides with a little super glue. Insert the pill compartment into the main base like this. The tablet compartment should be able to rotate freely. Secure the outer planetary gears to the base using the two long screws in the designated holes. Make sure not to tighten the screws too much so the gears can spin freely. 
You can now label or decorate the lid as you like. Letters and numbers are included in the files. Note the lid has a child lock if it doesn't open right away. Don't panic, but how it works, you'll have to figure that out yourself. Connect the Arduino Nano to your computer using a USB-C cable. Download the Arduino ID from the official website. The link is in the description. After installation, open the code in the ID. Choose between once or twice a day. Each program is commented for easy adjustments. Need help? Ask in the comments. Select the correct processor by choosing Arduino Nano. Select the correct program and port, then test the program. For this, you click on the small check mark above. Then upload the program to the Arduino using the small arrow button in the ID. Align the pill compartment with the front hole. Then connect the machine to a 5 volts power source. The motor locks itself once powered. Press the button the motor moves one compartment forward and starts the Arduino timer. From now on, it will rotate daily at this time or with the other program, twice a day, once now and again 10 hours later. Adjust the time as needed. Test thoroughly before use and check alignment when refilling. Let me know what I should create next. And have fun to build stuff. See ya!